स्वभावचिन्मयानंदम कृपा पूर्णम जगत्पति सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा I welcome you all with my love and blessings. my message for all of you today is only one word one phrase live enlightenment the jeevan mukti understand this year let us all dedicate it to live enlightenment come whatever may but only bliss will come nothing else will come the moment you risk come whatever may you opened your door for bliss because the moment you say come whatever may you accepted the whole you are ready for the whole you are ready for whatever is whatever is is always bliss whatever exists is always bliss let's dedicate this year for living enlightenment for jeevan mukti understand let me describe jeevan mukti conflict free life in the inner world and the outer world conflict free living living without gap between the inner world and the outer world either raise your energy shakti to catch up with the outer world or bring your buddhi to catch up with the inner world raise your shakti so that you can do whatever you want in the outer world and raise your buddhi so that you can accept whatever you have or whatever you are through any one process integrate yourself please understand living an integrated life is what i call living enlightenment continuously continuously living conflict free life continuously living the beautiful harmonious feeling continuously living in a deep feeling connection with the whole existence with whatever is is what i call living enlightenment
you have to put it in four words shakti energy to change whatever you can and buddhi intelligence to accept whatever is not needed to be changed whatever doesn't need to be changed and yukti clarity understanding however you change the whole world is a constant continuous changing dream what you call as reality is a continuously changing dream that yukti that clarity above all a deep feeling connection bhakti towards the unchanging energy what you call as master or existence shakti buddhi yukti bhakti when you live all these four in the life experientially you are living jeevan mukti you are living enlightenment you are radiating jeevan mukti shakti to change whatever you can means energy to work on your life buddhi to accept whatever doesn't need to change means clarity intelligence we don't have to change the whole thing no need then you will be too busy with changing instead of enjoying you don't need to change the whole thing if you think only you will enjoy only when the whole world becomes yours or as you want it can never happen so no need to change the whole thing intelligence to accept whatever doesn't need to change ultimately yukti clarity however you change whatever you change this existence the whole thing is a continuous changing dream with that clarity you will have the ultimate inner healing or the ultimate rest or peace when you have that clarity whatever however you try whatever you change the whole existence is a continuous dream which changes suddenly you will have deep feeling connection with one thing which does not change which is eternal nitya ananda the feeling connection with that which does not change is what i call bhakti when you live all this for experientially it is mukti continuously try to internalize the master's words internalize these words actually nothing else needs to be done except internalizing don't have guilt you are not able to practice sometime in the initial level you may may not be able to practice don't bother just internalize do not judge yourself the day you hear the teachings don't take up the teachings to judge yourself take up those teachings only to inspire yourself use the teachings to inspire you not to judge you read listen contemplate and internalize the master's words you will see automatically in your life day to day life whenever needed those words will come up as a support 
they will express themselves in your life as an experience you will be living enlightenment you will be living as jivan muktas i can say i wanted to say many more things but if i express too many words the main message may be lost in the too many words you will carry you may carry unwanted words and leave the main message so i do not want to use more and more words i want you to remember only this one message have express shakti buddhi yukti bhakti whatever level you can that's all i am saying whatever level you can radiate this four you will see you are radiating mukti you are living enlightenment you are radiating jivan mukti let us all dedicate this year for living enlightenment all of you decide from this moment i'll live enlightenment i'll radiate enlightenment come whatever may whatever may happen in my life from this moment i'll radiate enlightenment take this strong sankalpa i bless you all i initiate all of you into living enlightenment jeevan mukti let you all radiate jeevan mukti let you all live enlightenment when one person starts living enlightenment just by his presence he initiates hundreds and thousands of people into living enlightenment understand when you go and start living enlightenment in your area you don't have to do anything else just you are very walking you are very breathing you are very presence you are very smell will raise hundreds and thousands of people's consciousness will inspire hundreds and thousands of people spontaneously they will all start raising you don't even have to talk about enlightenment nothing is required if you do it wonderful but nothing will be required just as a spontaneous expression please understand when one person's radiate one person radiates enlightenment what happens to the people who are around him or people who come in contact with him you know you know now start radiating now it's your time now it is your time start radiating you will see just by your presence spontaneously you will transmit enlightenment you are very walking you are very touch you are very words you are very seeing or even those things are not required you are very breathing you are very presence will raise human consciousness it is time that we need to have a breakthrough in human consciousness it is time i think too late human consciousness needs to enter into a new cycle new field the divine consciousness it has to enter into the divine consciousness it is time let you all be the pioneers let you all be the pioneers of that great conscious transition from human consciousness to the divine consciousness to the human from the human consciousness to the super consciousness understand sitting with a group 
or sitting in a classes, sitting in programs, or sitting in satsangs. Whatever I have expressed verbally and through my writing, I have put the whole thing in essence and shared with you all. The essence is live as a Jeevan Mukta. Live as a liberated being. Essence is living enlightenment. That is the ultimate thing you can do to yourself and you can do to the whole planet earth. You can do to the whole cosmos. Cosmos wants you to be a Jivan Mukta. Understand, you are conscious miracle of cosmic energy. You are not an accident. You are a conscious miracle of cosmic energy. Live enlightenment. Radiate enlightenment. Live as Jivan Mukta. Radiate Jivan Mukti. That is what is the message. That is the essence. Try to read, contemplate, listen and internalize the master's words. They will work miracles inside you. The moment you internalize them, you will start radiating enlightenment. Just remember one thing. Today you have been initiated as a Jeevan Mukta. Just remember this one thing. Any conflict comes inside you, anything comes inside you, just remember. Master has initiated me as a Jivan Mukta. An avatar has initiated me as a Jivan Mukta. I am a Jivan Mukta. How can this stand in front of me? Just ask. How can I be in this situation? How can any conflict come in me? How can I have any disturbance? How can there be something called disturbance at all in my life? Just remember this one sutra, one key, one click. I am a Jeevan Mukta. I am a Jeevan Mukta. That is the top priority in my life. Living as a Jeevan Mukta is the first priority in my life. Everything else is secondary. If I have to forget I am a Jeevan Mukta for any reason, I am not interested in that. I will remember I am a Jeevan Mukta. With this remembrance, whatever I can do, let me do. Whether it is business or family or relationship or work or education or study or anything it may be. The first priority is remember I am a Jeevan Mukta. Every moment remember I am a Jeevan Mukta. Be a Jivan Mukta doctor, Jivan Mukta lawyer, Jivan Mukta engineer, Jivan Mukta businessman, nothing wrong. But Jivan Mukta, that's the first title. That should be the first title. Remember, any moment, I have been initiated as a Jivan Mukta. I am a Jivan Mukta. Now, in this situation, how a Jivan Mukta will behave? Behave in the same way. First thing, Jeevan Mukta will not have confusion. So relax. <laughs> he will not have conflict. Relax. Now act. Act from the relaxation which has grown inside you by the clear remembrance that you are a Jeevan Mukta. When you remember you are a Jeevan Mukta, there is a beautiful fullness happens in you. Act out of that fullness. Move out of that fullness. Live out of that fullness. That is what our Upanishad Krishis say. Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachati Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyati When the whole moves out of wholeness, the wholeness reminds us wholeness. If you act 
out of that wholeness fulfilled feeling the fulfillment will remain as fulfillment normally when a desire comes you act it out either it brings more and more desire or discontentment but when you act out of fulfillment i am a jivan mukta with that remembrance i am a jivan mukta suddenly you see you are acting out of fulfillment purnamada purnamidam from the fulfillment fulfillment comes out the whole from the whole the whole moves when the whole wholeness moves out of wholeness wholeness remains as wholeness when you are whole you are holy understand act out of that wholeness whenever you feel you are disconnected from that wholeness come back sit relax remember again remember again till you are feeling connected again with that wholeness stop doing anything else that is what i call tapas that is what i call meditation meditation is not something which you will do in separate time whenever you feel disconnected shut yourself disconnect yourself from everything else connect hook hook yourself with the divine connect yourself with the divine then with that feeling connection act let all your actions be done with this base current that you are a jivan mukta you are living enlightenment so just remember this one blessing understand i bless you all sincerely with my very being let you all become jivan muktas let you all radiate living enlightenment let you all radiate eternal bliss nityananda thank you